here in these barrels. Now, Andy, what's that all about? Well, it's all about getting new potatoes for Christmas and New Year. Well, how do you do that? Well, just put one potato in a barrel or a tub, something similar to this, uh, and just leave them by, they do their own thing at the back there, out of the way, and the tops die down eventually. But they, I'll probably cover the soil with the lawn winds, something like that, and just leave them until uh, just before Christmas Day. What happens if you, get a, if you get a good old frost on them? Oh, I shall put a dustbin lid over the top of the barrel. That's a brilliant oh. idea. Well, look, I know it's a little bit early, mm. uh, but you've got some here in a bucket. Yes. Can we just have a look yes. and see what sort of thing you get? Oh, we can. Oh. That's <laughs> well, that's not bad, is it? Nice. That's a shirt. New tasties for Christmas. Really mm. great, eh? And they've really got new potato flavour. Definitely. Yes. Well, Definitely. Andy, now look, one thing I've got to do before I go, just come over here with me, because yes. I've got to find out whether this carrot fly control really works. Just, uh, do you mind yeah. if we pull one? All right. All right. Seems like a good one, doesn't it? <laughs> really good one, that. Huh? Mother's parsnips. Eey, that's a oh, lovely, that's bad, lovely it? carrot, isn't it? And just let's check the top now for signs of carrot fly. That is as clean as a whistle. Yes, not a good carrot. Oh, well, I say it, Michelle. <laughs> Gardener's World is back again on Friday at 8.30 and next Wednesday at 7.30 sees the start of a brand new series, The Victorian Kitchen Garden, which features the restoration and working of a walled garden as it would have been a hundred years ago. Over on one shortly, the six o'clock news with Andrew Harvey and Nicholas Witchell. And in just over an hour and a half, our new series for sailing enthusiasts under sail takes us on board the square rigger, Lord Nelson. But first on two, Elvis walks into the spotlight in hillbilly mode in his second film, Loving You. Well, next week, Elvis earns his convict stripes by taking up the guitar in his cell while serving a sentence for manslaughter. A new rock star is born in Jailhouse Rock, one of his most famous films, next Wednesday at 6, here on 2. Tonight, in the second of our trilogy of screenplay next, The Venus de Milo instead, Mrs. Gray is a Catholic teacher at a Protestant school where Mr. Scott teaches French. Would you like to go to Paris? I need to see where is. Would you like to go to Paris for the baby? All expenses paid. To be honest, Mr. Scott, I thought you would have asked me. My degree is in French. Okay, I'll go. I've never been to Paris. You've never been to Paris? And I don't speak a word of French. The boss made an announcement. Wanted to know if anyone wanted to go to Paris at Easter with Mr. Scott. Mr. Scott. But others want to come too, including 14-year-old Tracy. On Easter Thursday, we went to the Louvre. I wanted to see the Mona Lisa, but the picture was so small and so far away, and there were so many people in front of me, I couldn't see anything at all. So I went to look at the Venus de Milo instead. The Venus de Milo instead, tonight at 9.25 on BBC Two. It's a pity about her arms. And our next but one programme tonight on two brings the story of Jean, trapped in her home for 13 years by her own compulsive rituals, including obsessive hand washing. QED follows her voluntary admission into hospital and the course of treatment she undertakes in 40 minutes. But first, the start of a new series and the story of the sailing ship Lord Nelson, so designed that the able-bodied can share with the physically handicapped the experience of being under sail. The 
the sail training ship Lord Nelson, the biggest square rigger built for the British flag in 80 years, and a ship with a very special mission. I've always had this love of the sea, and um, to be on a um, sailing ship is something that I've, uh, you know, rather dreamt about, you know. I mean, uh, I wanted an opportunity of learning something about sailing. I think about the old-time sailors relying on sail rather than steam. That was Bill Price, and the thing about him is that for over 40 years he's been disabled. And that's the mission of the Lord Nelson. She's been purpose-built to allow the disabled, working alongside the able-bodied, to taste the thrills and pleasures of living under sail. She's been built for the Jubilee Sailing Trust at roughly the cost of three million pounds. She's the first of her kind in the world. 